Well, get a load of this shit. SR SIBO 2021-061. Extended global trading hours, which will be referred to in this video as GTH session. Let's take a look at this crime. So the purpose of this is uh, the exchange proposes to extend the hours of its global trading hours session. The proposed rule change to extend the current GTH session aims to meet growing customer demand globally for expanded access to trade SPX and VIX options, which are designed to help enable investors to hedge or gain exposure to the broad U.S. markets and global equity volatility. By way of background, the exchange currently offers two trading sessions, regular trading hours, or RTH, and GTH, or global trading hours. Rule 5.1 currently sets forth the trading hours for the exchange's RTH and GTH trading sessions, particularly RTH for transactions and equity options, including options on individual stocks, ETFs, and ETNs, and other securities are the normal business days and hours set forth in the rules of the primary market, currently trading the securities underlying the options except for options on ETFs, ETNs, index portfolio shares, index portfolio receipts, and trust-issued receipts the exchange designates to remain open for trading beyond 4 p.m., but in no case later than 4.15 p.m. RTH for transactions and index options are from 9.30 a.m. to 4.15 p.m., subject to certain exceptions. The GTH session currently begins at 3 a.m. and goes until 9.15 a.m. on Monday through Friday. The exchange's rules provide that the exchange may designate as eligible for trading during GTH any exclusively listed index option designated for trading under Chapter 4, Section B. Currently, SPX, VIX, and XSP are approved for trading during GTH. Supernote 5 says the term trading session means the hours during which the exchange is open for trading for regular trading hours or global trading hours, each of which may refer to as a trading section. Unless otherwise specified in the rules or the context otherwise indicates, all rules apply in the same manner during each trading session. Supernote 11 says if the exchange designates a class of index options as eligible for trading during GTH, flex options with the same underlying index are also deemed eligible for trading during GTH. The exchange also notes that although eligible, XSP is not currently listed for trading during GTH. Now, the proposed rule change to extend the GTH trading session aims to provide global market participants with expanded access to trade the products offered during GTH. Indeed, the proposal to lengthen the current GTH session is designed to help meet growing investor demand for the ability to manage risk more efficiently, react to global macroeconomic events as they are happening, and adjust SPX and VIX options positions nearly around the clock. Additionally, the exchange notes the proposed expanded hours overlap with the Asia-Pacific markets thereby offering a new segment of global market participants the opportunity to trade GTH products in their local time. Specifically, the exchange proposes to expand the session by starting the GTH session, get this, at 8.15 p.m. on the immediately preceding calendar day, rather than at the current start of time of 3 a.m. when the, you know, the freaking market opens. The GTH session would continue to end at 9.15 a.m. Transactions affected during GTH session will have the same trade date as the RTH session that immediately follows it. The proposed rule change would otherwise make no changes to the trading rules applicable to GTH. The GTH trading session will continue to be a separate trading session from the RTH and the rules that currently apply or don't apply to the current GTH session will continue to apply or not apply to the lengthened GTH session. The exchange will continue to use the same servers and hardware during the lengthened GTH session as it uses for RTH and GTH today. Further, Trading permit holders, or TPHs, may continue to use the same ports and connections to the exchange for both trading sessions. The book used during the lengthened GTH session will also be the same book used currently during RTH and GTH. The exchange proposes to amend and conform various rules to relating to the proposed expanded GTH as described more fully below. Supernote 15. For example, the GTH trading session for Monday currently begins on Mondays at 3 a.m., Pursuant to the proposed rule change, a Monday GTH trading session will commence on the immediately preceding Sunday at 8.15 p.m. So index values. As the expanded GTH session will now begin on a calendar day different than the business day or trading day, the exchange proposes to eliminate this language and adopt clarifying language that instead provides that a business day or trading day includes the RTH session and the GTH session that immediately precedes it. Also, because the expanded GTH session will begin on the same calendar day as an RTH session, 
the exchange proposes to eliminate the following language from the definition to avoid potential confusion. If the exchange is not open for regular trading hours on a day, then it will not be open for global trading hours on that day. The exchange proposes to amend Rule 5.31, or the opening auction process, which rule governs opening auctions during RTH and GTH. Basically, all they're going to be doing here is uh, providing that the queuing period begins at 2 a.m. for all sessions classes and at 7.30 a.m. for RTH only classes. The exchange proposes to update the Rule 5.31b to provide that the queuing period for all session classes will begin at 8 p.m. the previous day. The exchange believes that the proposed queuing period still provides a sufficient amount of time for TPHs to enter quotes and orders into the queuing book for participation in the GTH opening rotation, especially given that the exchange lists only two classes for trading during the GTH. Now, the term queuing book means the book into which users may submit orders and quotes and onto which GTC and GTD orders, or good till canceled, remain on the book from the previous trading session or trading day as applicable during the uh, queuing period for participation in the applicable opening rotation. Now, orders and quotes on the, uh, in the queuing book may not execute until the opening rotation begins. The queuing book for the GTH opening auction process may be referred to as the GTH queuing book, and the queuing book for the RTH opening process may be referred to as the RTH queuing book. The exchange proposes to amend Rule 5.33c1 to reflect that in light of the proposed extended GTH session, Indicative prices and order imbalance information will be disseminated beginning at 8 a.m. the previous day, instead of 2 a.m. the current day, for all sessions classes for the GTH trading session. Flex options. Subparagraph B of Rule 5.71, Opening of Flex Trading, currently sets forth the times that flex traders may begin submitting flex orders. Basically, what they're going to be doing here is the same thing. They're going to be changing it until originally at 3 a.m. start, which is the current start time, to after 8.15 p.m. the previous day, which is the proposed start time of the GTH session. As discussed above, the rules that currently apply to the GTH trading session will continue to apply in the same manner to the expanded GTH session, albeit certain cutoff times and commit commencement times will be updated to reflect the proposed new start time of the GTH session. In essence, the same opening process will continue to be used to open GTH, albeit an earlier start time, 8.15 the previous day involves the flex options that have been can kicked this year, basically gives them more room for crime. Now they get to start trading earlier, and you heard what the filing said, it interlaps with the Asian Pacific markets, likely exactly what they want. So let's see what happens. The crime is increasing.